Several events so far this year have marked the half-century of Sino-French diplomatic ties, including actress Sophie Marceau performing at CCTV Spring Festival Gala in February. Les échanges culturels sont très France and China are both cultural giants in the world, and culture is part of the country's identity. We have many cultural exchanges, like this year's Festival Quasmo, the biggest event celebrating France culture in the world. It offers a program throughout China in all artistic disciplines, from theater and music to circus and all kinds of events. We have also celebrated Chinese culture in France two years ago had an exhibition in France about the Forbidden City. And for the 50th anniversary of Sino-French diplomatic relations, we prepared an exhibition of cultural relics from the Han dynasty. Also, what interests us both is the film sector, and we welcome co-productions with China. In fact, we have one that will be released next year called Wolf Totem with the great French director Jean-Jacques Anoul. Wolf Totem depicts the dying culture of Mongol nomads and their near-mystical bond with wolves. The book that the film is based on has sold more than two million copies and is one of the most read novels in China. <laughs> I've read it and I've also seen the filming in Inner Mongolia, once in winter and once again in summer. I'm really fascinated by the ethnic cultures of China, especially Mongolian culture, as I've been there several times. Of course, I also like other minority cultures in Yunnan, it's totally different, but equally fascinating. Cultural exchanges between China and France have grown steadily over the past half century since the countries established diplomatic relations. And there's no denying that cinema has acted as an important catalyst. I know that French films have a huge fan base here in China, but I also noticed that Chinese films have a huge potential in France and in Europe. We've seen a growing number of Chinese entries in European film festivals, including Cannes. Recently, the Chinese thriller Black Coal Thin Ice won at the Berlinale. It's really impressive. At a meeting with the visiting French president, François Hollande, last April, Chinese President Xi Jinping called for more cooperation between the two countries in protecting cultural heritage. Madame Behrman said this will also be a key focus in the future. China and France both have a rich culture. I remember that there was a UNESCO convention signed in 1970 for prohibiting and preventing illicit trafficking of cultural property. It's important to preserve the cultural heritage of China and France, and our museums also have regular exchanges. Hopefully, we'll see more in the future.